Hi everyone, it's Ophenian Sakal here and today again we have some special guests. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yes. Yeah. I'm Jai. I'm Sissy and twins. I'm Jara. Yes, <laughs> and so Sissy and Jai are seven years old, Jara is nine years old. Today we wanted to share with you EFT tapping, emotional freedom technique, tapping for children and how it really assists them and the dynamics within the family and harmony etc. EFT tapping. We talk about this all the time, all the time, all the time. Why? Because out of all the modalities that we've come across over the many, 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 many years, EFT is one of the ones that stuck around. I'm an EFT trainer, have trained EFT for probably 15 years. And so today we want to share with you guys how amazing a tool it is for you and your family. For yourself within your relationship but also for your kids so we want to show you how kids can tap how you can tap on your kids and the first thing we'll do is just explain that EFT is tapping on certain points on your body so the emotional energy or the stressful energy in your body can be flushed out through a system known as the energy meridian system. Acupuncture uses it too, acupressure uses it too. It's a system that's documented by science. It goes 5,000 years back in all sorts of mythologies in the East. So it's very well proven these days as well. But we find that the proof lies in how good do we feel after we do it. So first, I'll show you guys the 10 points we use. Sometimes you might see seven points or eight points or nine points. We use these 10 points because we find that they cover all of the meridians, okay? And then we'll do a little bit of talking about experiential things that we went yep. through as a family and things like that. So the first point is, and you guys can tap along if you want, see I feel, First one is top of the head. So just by putting gentle pressure with your fingertips on the top of the head, you start to release stress. The next point is inside of the eyebrow here, and you can do it on both sides, doesn't really matter. The third point is side of the eye. That's great, guys. Next one is under the eye. And again, if you're with your left hand, that's great. Or you can even alternate, but just choose a side. It's totally fine. Next one is under the nose above the chin and this is often hard for people collarbone point here or here so you actually follow the you follow your sort of your throat line down to this area here and down and out about an inch that's where you want to be tapping next one is you make sort of four fingers like this tap on the side on your rib cage or on this side totally fine all good next one is you sort of slap the inside of your wrist and the third one is this side of the hand. So and those are the ten points. And so, Jera, maybe you want to say something about your experience with EFT yeah, so EFT far? EFT has really helped me with a lot of things. <gasps> like sometimes if I'm sad or something, and and if I do it, it helps a lot. Yeah. From, it just makes me happier. Yeah. And it just releases a lot of the bad energy and comes back in good energy. Cool. And it's just really fun to do it. Beautiful. Yeah. And uh, we taught these guys from when they were very, 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 very young, even as babies, we would tap on their energy meridian points, flush out the energy. You already saw Jai, and I think CC2, you start to yawn. And yawning or sneezing is a very typical response of the body while letting go of stress. So we find that doing EFT tapping works really well when let's say the child is in the middle of feeling stress or worry or fear or is crying or upset um do you want to maybe show how we would tap yeah like how let's say let's say jai is upset about something or he's crying or he's angry how would we help him to release that energy with this simple technique and these these 10 points yes so for me as you see the way that i do it um, with the kids, I don't always do these points if I'm doing it for them, like at bedtime, that type of thing. Um, you want them to be relaxed as well while you're doing it. And I'm pretty relaxed with <laughs> techniques. Yeah. And so I really like to make up my own sort of style. So for instance, um, if we're, you know, laying with them in bed um, before they go to sleep, I would probably just do these points here and then on the hand. So I would do the top of the eyebrow, side of the eyebrow, under the eye, the collarbone, and then the wrist and side of hand. 
they're all they're, that's all that is needed in those times to just really calm the energy bring it back to center and for myself i you know i like to break the rules a little bit <laughs> you know doing this it's a lot of effort going all the way up here so i actually i actually often for myself when i'm we're just sitting around and we're just doing a little bit of tapping I just do these ones. So, you know, the the hardcore EFT purists, um, you know, you might feel that I'm not doing it correctly, but we get the same effect. So um, I even say with the kids and other people, clients, etc. even if you're in a meeting or you're anywhere out in the world, even just tapping on the side of the hand or just holding and holding your wrist, it's a, the meridian point that assists in releasing. So all of that helps. Um, I just wanted to add with Jera especially because yes. when he would uh, accumulate some energy being very sensitive, being very solid, but then there's a sensitive, really sensitive side to Jera and if that's not looked at, he can sort of say, no, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> but then we say, come on, let's just do two minutes and then literally two minutes and you're all good again. Yeah, it's, it's quite really amazing. Cool. And then you're like, oh, thanks, that was really good. I feel so good. It's yeah. really amazing, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, sorry, you wanted to say that? No, I just wanted to give a bit, tiny bit of background on EFT because it originated sort of early to mid 1990s by a guy called Gary Craig and he learned it from another methodology called TFT. But it basically comes down to really using the points and the ones he started with the seven points that he often taught in the very beginning were these seven. So not the top of the head and not the wrist and not the side of the hand. The side of the hand had another point, uh, another, part to it where it would you know be used with psychological reversal but it's kind of everything's become a little bit easier we found that the most efficient way of using EFT is working with when it's right present like let's say Jer is feeling really sad then we work through that sadness or you work on memories little memory blocks that are in your system and then when you feel the stress around the memory whatever it is whether it's at work or whether you had school. something in your family or at school that's what you tap out so we found that to be the most efficient way now in the end of this video we'll tag a 36 minute video that we did as well, an easy and complete EFT tapping guide if you want to review it more in depth. But today we really wanted to just chat with all of the family about how we've experienced EFT. Jai and Cece, did you guys want to say anything about how you like EFT or anything you want to share? Um, very peaceful and it makes us much happier. Ah, oh, great. Yeah, That's true. beautiful. That's very true. What about yeah. you, Jai? Um, same. Same for you. Yeah. And how do you feel like a uh, because you've got a, a bit of a busy mind and sometimes you, you, you're asked like 20 questions at bedtime and stuff like that and, it, and uh, do you feel the EFT helps with that? Helps yeah, it does. Calm you down? Uh -huh. How does it feel when we're doing it on you and, and what do you experience? I get more relaxed and it feels, I feel more calmer after we mm -hmm. do it. Yeah, and your mind calms down and yeah. if there's been a bit of... Uh, energy or stress in the day it kind of just drains out yeah 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 so like Sakal said we've been doing it on the the children since they were babies and it has just really assisted in just really draining out the energy do you guys just want to tap while we while we talk and you may notice that the kids will um, just release <laughs> So when you're tapping, you don't have to do the perfect points. Like even if you're, let's say, you're stressed or some, or one of the kids is stressed, even just tapping on the side of the hand is really, really good. Even if you don't want other people to see it because you find that all a bit weird, this tapping on points on your body, just tapping on the side of your hand is very, very powerful. And doing some of the points will really get that energy rolling. So it doesn't have to be this perfect, I need to know all the perfect points or I need to know the seven original points. and. Just use the ones that you want. Like Afini was saying, we, we tap on the kids in bed sometimes, you can't reach all the points, so you just tap on four of them, and it still gets that energy flowing. And the body gets used to it very quickly as well, especially with kids, they just release so quickly. Yes. So getting into a habit is really good, and then they'll empower themselves to do it themselves. So if they have an emotion, they can process it straight away, <clears throat> instead of actually having to store it in their body to be dealt with way later. Mm -hmm. So it's actually very beneficial in that way. Yeah, and um, talking about storing it later, finding memories uh, with kids, um, just 
uh, tapping on them or teaching them, them the points if they're a bit older because you know we still remind Sierra and Jai where the points are and, and tap on them. Um, really looking at okay where's some patterning, where are some upsets that are regularly happening like if your kids are going to school where is it that there's some memories where they feel uh, you know insecure and, and find those memories and talk about it while you're tapping on them or um, just get them to just remind them of it and then tap on it you don't even need to keep talking or if you see a child upset you can say oh you seem you seem sad or you seem like you're frustrated whatever you know because sometimes just growing and new empowerment energy coming in or whatever doing the tapping can just really assist it to calibrate through the system and just be able to get focused again yeah and one of the other things i want to add i'm just reminded to add is EFT, the reason we go on and on about it is because it's one of the methods that you can do for yourself, that you can kids can do for themselves. A lot of the other methods you can't, you actually need someone else to assist you with it. Yeah. And so EFT is one of those little golden nuggets we found that everybody can use. And surprising, you come into this life in this body, these new kids come into these bodies, and then on these bodies are these anti-stress points these relaxation points and there's only a few of them you don't need to leave learn 400 points you just learn 10 points or even two or three or four points and you can release stress and actually feel better again raise your frequency so it's so beneficial and this is why we wanted to share with you guys too that is super simple for kids as well to get into that habit and for families as well to just work through stuff as it comes up or pretty quickly after that yes so Ciara did you want to share something um, I just want to say can Jai and Michelle are allowed to talk about stuff? To, with each other? Or? Cut. And I like to talk about and stuff. Yeah. Like, oh, like you guys, you guys ask the questions. Because I can't just like sitting here. You're a bit bored now. Yeah, because we can't just sit here doing nothing. Because no one Do you guys want to, to say we ask stuff? you some questions? Yeah. yeah. That's yes. great. What's a good question you'd like to agree, answer? Because we've done enough chatty chat, Mama mm -hmm. and Papa, haven't we? What is the situation that would help kids feel better with EFT? Um, <laughs> anything, yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. anything. Yeah. 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 Um, I know, like yeah. getting hurt. Getting yeah, hurt. Getting hurt. The diamond. Yeah. The diamond, you love the diamond, don't you? We'll do that in another video. That's a, a special energy matrix around your family's really? home and space. You really yeah. want to do that. We'll yeah. do that next time. That'd be great. Using sacred you. geometry. Sacred another geometry. Video. <laughs> what does that mean? Wait, what did you just say? Sacred ge geometry, that's the shape <laughs> of the... <laughs> it's the diamond, you <laughs> um, Oh my goodness. Okay, what's another good example? So, you know, if there's a bit of disharmony within the family and you want to have a chat with the family and sort some things out, there's just been a little bit of, um, you know, a few hiccups through the day mm. or you need to sort out a situation that's just not flowing. Um, we have sometimes sit, sat together in a circle and yeah. just tap to sort something through, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. That's really helped with everyone to release the energy around it and then it's easier to talk about the subject because your emotions are more calm and then the actual thing that we need to sort out, solutions come, don't they? We get yeah. ideas on how to move forward. Mm. So, uh, Gerald, what are some of the circumstances that have helped you? Um, like, sometimes when like I'm feeling a bit off and I've been hurt quite a bit, like, in one day if I get hurt like a lot in the day or something, mm. and if I do it, it actually, like, and let's say if I get hurt, then if I do it, it I stop getting hurt. Yeah, beautiful. And it makes me happier too. Yes. Yeah. And, yeah. And this is my energy too. Nice. Yeah. And then it comes back. Yeah. yeah. I'm good. Yeah. And because, um, you know, we really see that when kids are hurting themselves a lot through the day, it's often to trigger the emotion that they need to release. So if they're constantly hurting themselves, you know, it could be a little bit of negative psychic attack. Sometimes there's little touches of negative energies, but often yeah. it's emotion that needs to get triggered. You know, like when you stub your toe and you feel like crying your eyes out because yeah, you're like up to here with emotion, that's usually like time to do some tapping. And it's the yeah. same with kids as well. Like, you know, if you, you've probably noticed that too, Jerry, where it's like you've overreacted to a situation because yeah. you're emotional. Yeah. There's too many emotions in yeah. there. So mm -hmm. something happens to make you upset or yeah. cranky with someone or whatever. Yeah, sure. 
All right, guys, we really, really wanted to share this with you guys because it's such a good habit to get into and it'll make you feel really, really good. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, we have an energy management manual if you want to know even more energy management techniques. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, comment below, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much, guys, for being part of it again. It was lots of yeah. fun. Yeah, very fun. Beautiful. All right, let's all say goodbye and see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. We're Bye. out. <laughs> We're out. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Season John and Jeremiah.